Happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. Even in solution. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Todderbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the RRS. This is the RS661BT. It's an AM FM shortwave portable radio with Bluetooth and MP3 player. Now, I bought this originally on Amazon for $13.99. Then I went on sale for $9.99. As I'm producing this video, it's still $9.99, and hopefully you guys can cash in on that deal. It's absolutely amazing. I love this radio. I liked its predecessor. Its predecessor was $10, bucks. and yeah, let's go over it. Let's see what the upgrades are. So here we are, RRS. As you can tell, I'm excited about this, about the band radio. Uh, earphone. There is no earphone jack. They kind of made a mistake there, unfortunately. Um, it's auxiliary in instead of earphone. We have a media player. We have built-in rechargeable battery, just like the other one. Um, I opened it up, and it looks like about a 1200 or 1500 18650 in there. Hi-Fi speaker, Bluetooth connect, sweet, wireless, fashionable appearance design. Yeah, baby, fashionable. Walk around the neighborhood, chilling, <laughs> chilling with the radio. All right, so there you go. Pretty basic setup. Let's go and open it up. Yeah, when I saw it go for 10 bucks, I told everybody that I could on YouTube, Instagram, if you guys are following me. Um, definitely go on Instagram and uh, Twitter so you guys know what's going on. Uh, I always post deals right away for you guys. And, of course, on YouTube also. All right, so at least we get in the box here. We have warranty card. It is not easy to meet, meet each comma. Okay, that threw me off. Other in such a big world. Okay, it's not easy. It's a big world. Well, we have the Internet, so, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty easy right now, I think. Okay, uh, let's stand it back. Token of appreciation, 20% off. Okay, hey, there you go. Use that code or whatever it is. All right. Next we have, whoa, check it out, a USB micro charging cable. This is the charge, the radio. Not bad. I'm sure you've seen one of those before. The radio in bubble wrap. I like to see that. Let's go ahead and pull this out here. Yeah, loving that color, that black and gunmetal. looks really good. All right, so let's go over dimensions really quickly. Uh, we have seven and a half inches across. We're four inches tall, and we're two and a quarter inches in depth. Okay, we'll do a little size comparison. Then compare it to the older model. Yeah, you guys want to see a little comparison, I'm sure. Uh, some of you guys may own the RS905, um, and I'll bring that out in a second. CC Pocket, it's 10 p.m. exactly, um, Central Standard Time near Chicago, Illinois, at 10 hours for UTC. So just so you know, when we start tuning the shortwave and AM band, you'll know what time it is in my location. Next, we have the CC Skywave. I can use this as my frequency checker, but tonight I'll probably just uh, be tuning around the bands. I'll do some more dedicated uh, videos with this radio for sure in the future, because it is pretty good on the medium wave band. I was pretty impressed. Um, just, you know, right now, I love this radio so much. Just just go buy one. If it's $9.99, get one. If it's $13.99, get one. It's, it's that good of a radio. Loving it. Um, we'll talk about its fault, too. It's only got one or two. <laughs> uh, Iron Man, he's the man with the master plan. We all know that. And he loves radios from RRS from China land. <laughs> Just monologuing it versus singing it. All right, it gives you an idea with deck of cards. All right, so let's compare it to the old model. Let me bring this up. So you can get both models in frame. So this is the upgrades. It's a setup on here. Upgrades. Okay, let's see where I'm at. All right. So the earlier model was the RRS 905. Now, if you guys were subscribers of my channel back then. You knew that this one was awesome. I was all excited about this. This was $9.99. I was like, yeah, AM, FM, shortwave radio with a rechargeable battery for 10 bucks. It was like a no-brainer. I was really excited about it. Used it all the time. Uh, just a favorite radio of mine. So when I saw this, I jumped all over it for $13.99. I'm like, four bucks more with a media player. Loving that. Uh, and then I went to $9.99. Again, no-brainer. This is great. Um, the difference is, though, speakers. The speaker's much better. This one's a little tinnier. I like the sound of this one a lot more. A lot more low end. A lot more bass to it. Loving that. The big thing, though, is if you're a shortwave fanatic and you like using shortwave with a cheap DSP radio, it's not the best experience, but it's not a bad experience, I've noticed with this newer radio. The old radio uh, is 3.2 to 22 megahertz. This one here is 5.9 to 18 on one band, as you can see. That's some 
big takeaway there. And of course, this says Bluetooth. This does not. Um, on top of the radio, you can see this is multimedia controls, USB, micro SD. This does not. Now, the cool thing is they both have that internal 18650 battery rated about 1200 to 1500 milliamp hours. It's a flat top battery with the wire soldered directly to it. Um, you can actually modify it. And what I did, I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but on the 905, which I can do on the 661, is I took and I wired to those uh, existing wires on the internal battery and disconnected the internal battery. I put a holder in and I'm using my, uh, my own 18650 that I can take out and replace. So that was pretty neat and it lasts for quite a long time. And I can always take this housing out. As you can see, I did not ruin the D-cell operation. I can always remove that holder and uh, actually go back to D-cells and use the internal battery. So I left the internal battery in there uh, just uh, taped up so it's not kind of short out. So there you go. Pretty cool mod. I like that mod. I did on this radio. I've done it before on other radios, cheap ones like this. And I might do it with the 661. I mean, for 10 bucks, why not? So I'm going to bring this back down. We're going to talk about features of the 661BT. Yeah. This thing's great. It's, again, loving the color, loving the price. It's just awesome. Go get one. <laughs> it, it's really that good, except I'm going to go over the couple shortcomings it has. Um, there's a few, but not too bad. Not enough to keep you from buying it for 10 bucks. Gunmetal, really cool color. Loving that again. I think I've said that before. A wraparound metal speaker grill. Our two and a quarter inch speaker. I did take this radio apart to see the differences. And this uh, has a huge magnet on it, and it's a great sounding speaker. It's so awesome. We have a, a baffle here. There's actually a piped system. It's pretty neat. So you get a little extra low end. It definitely doesn't need it, but it has it. The dial. Um, here we go. You got FM 64 to 108. Do not expect accuracy. Uh, my FM starts about on 92 or 90, right about there. And 98 is past 104 on mine. So there's no dial accuracy. AM. This says 530 to 1600. This will actually tune to 1710. Just so you know, if you buy this radio, you do get the expanded band, which is nice. Just don't expect accuracy again. It's way off. Shortwave, again, 5.9 to 18. That one is all over the place also. So there's a little cure for that. You can get yourself like a little uh, label, like a white label sticker right here. And just, just cover this area right here. Just cut it out and place it right there and put your little hash marks uh, where your favorite uh, band is. So if you like listening to AM band, just mark where 600, 700, 800, you know, you know what I'm saying. And then you have your nice little area so you know exactly where you're at on the uh, AM band or shortwave if you prefer or FM. So that's just a neat setup. That's what I recommend doing. And it looks like it'll work perfectly. There's a lot of, excuse me, bump thing. There's a lot of room there for a label. Loving that. Right hand side of the radio, we have the input for the USB to charge it, uh, micro USB. Um, it charges pretty quickly. And in the front here, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. Is there, I'm trying to see if I can get that in the camera. Okay, there's a little, little like circle right there. There's a little, little, little red LED that pops out showing it's charging and it goes away when the battery is complete. It's awesome. Now a difference here on this radio versus the other radio, this has auxiliary in versus this radio here. If I can get this on camera. This has headphones. People are going to be upset that this doesn't have headphones, but uh, to be honest with you, it's a bigger radio. I'm not concerned with headphone use on this one, but um, some people will be. Um, it's auxiliary in, so you could use your like CC Skywave, CC Pocket, PL360, anything with a real tinny speaker, Haranga, uh, 737, you know, these little dudes. But if you're cruising medium wave, uh, what, what I recommend you do is use a longer uh, patch cable uh, to this radio because if you're really close uh, proximity, this does put off some RFI. But if you're a distance of about two to three feet away, you don't notice it. So just keep that in mind if you're tuning the medium wave band. It probably have no effect like on a scanner or on a uh, you know VHF or FM. You should be okay. But I want to make sure I tell you that. Yeah, so auxiliary in works. It's uh, a neat mode. And then we have band select, MP3, FM, AM, shortwave, carry strap. Top of the radio, we have some controls. It's backwards, unfortunately, but uh, it works well. Pause, play, like you'd expect. We have a track forward and fast forward. Yes, yeah, so that's fast forward. I'm uh, loving it. It's really convenient when you have longer files. I like that. And we have backtrack and uh, rewind. Again, if I mess something up while I'm playing, <laughs> it's because those controls are not in the right positions. Um, here we have a repeat function. There's no display screen to know what repeat function you're on, but it's very simple. If you're listening to a song or a track that you like, hit this button once, and then it'll automatically keep playing that same song or track. Click it again, it goes to all files. Pretty simple. 
a USB thumb drive, uh, so you can put your WAV files on there, MP3 files, and MP3 files, on, MP3 files on your micro SD card. Now there was no documentation with my radio, but I'm guessing it goes up to 32 gigabytes. They tend to. Here's our volume on off, our tuning knob, so it turns like this, and you can see it moving. Again, pretty simple. Don't expect accuracy, but if you tune a lot, you'll know where you're at just by the stations you're hearing. Um, so there we are in the back here. Let's see the antenna. Our antenna here is really nice. I uh, love that it's uh, 24 inches. Yeah, it's a nice long antenna and it swivels. See how it swivels there? Nice setup. Again, great for reception. And we'll go over that. Um, on the back, a little bit of a vent there, probably for the base. Tennis screw. And it's the same as the RS905. It has the same D cell, where you can put D cells in here. And the internal 18650, I believe, is like here on an angle. Yeah, it's a flat top, and it's probably rated, I think, 1200 or 1500 It's one of those two. It's a blue-wrapped cell. It looks pretty pretty inexpensive. But again, $10 radio. <laughs> Gotta love it. But yeah, nice setup that you can put Ds in there. Um, looked like a really cool setup. Also, if you guys are curious, there's an internal uh, AM ferrite antenna at the bottom, and it is uh, two and a half inches, and it looks like it's nicely wound. Um, this does very well on medium waves, so I thought I'd share that with you. Great. All right. And then my supporting patrons and channel members um, of YouTube get those pictures. I usually post them after the video, and they get to see what the insides look like. I like to do that for them um, as a little bonus for supporting the channel. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to start. Uh, oh, yeah, we've got to talk about FM reception, and then we'll talk about a few other things, and then we'll start playing this radio. So FM reception report. Um, most radios, average radios, get 48 stations, and that's what this one got, 48 stations. I started at fair. Okay, good, very good, excellent. This came in between okay and good. Uh, that's not bad, but it could be better with a DSP radio. The problem with this one here is, of course, the short spread right here. And also, when you found a, str a strong station like, you know, one of your favorites, like local, it'll actually eat up quite a bit of the band. So you'll be losing uh, faint stations in between. Just so you know, it's like a strong AFC circuit. Uh, if you have it on a radio, you might actually block out other stations. And that one, this is what this does. If it didn't have that, it'd be much more selective. Uh, but in all honesty, I did enjoy tuning. And every time I turned the knob a little bit, I was getting a nice strong station. That was nice. Um, but if you're trying to find that faint FM station, you're probably not going to find it with this radio. But you'll be happy to find all your normal semi-locals and locals coming in beautifully. And locked on, too, which is really nice. Uh, medium wave daytime, excellent. <laughs> uh, I'd give it five stars. It, it really is amazing. Uh, on locals, semi-locals, and distant stations, I was picking up low wattage stations, 200-watt um, stations out of Milwaukee with it, no problem, without a loop, just sitting there. I'm like, wow, amazing uh, what this can do on medium wave uh, during the day. And I'm probably going to do a daytime band scan and medium wave band scan with this because it needs to. It's, it's that good of a, a medium wave radio. Uh, on shortwave, it did really well, too, during the day. I got about a dozen or so stations. Pretty awesome. I got Voice of Greece with it. Um, that's always my benchmark. I like to listen to that. They always got music playing. It's a good setup. So, yeah, very, very awesome radio. Well, I went outside. didn't hear any medium wave bleed through. Usually you do. I raised the antenna all the way up, and I uh, didn't hear any medium wave coming through. So that's a, that's a bonus in the shortwave there for daytime listening. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Now, what I'm going to do is I have a... 16 gig um, SanDisk flash drive. This is a low profile one. I love this. And I'm going to put links below to this probably, this little guy. Just amazing um, because a little bit more durable to use in one of these radios. And they're, they work in all those radios that support this. Plug it in there and it only sticks up a little bit. And I really like that setup. So we'll go ahead and make sure we're on MP3. That band selector's down. Okay, turn it on. <laughs> Okay, we'll demo for a little bit.
Good Old Time Radio. The Johnson's Wax Program with Fibber McGee and Molly. <laughs> and Billy Mills Orchestra. The new Johnson self-polishing glow coat now shine. We got them all here. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early west. Hop along, Cassidy. <laughs> there you go. You get an idea for the audio quality. Awesome. Um, so yeah, if I pull that out, turn it on, should say Bluetooth. Bluetooth mode. So if you have your phone, it'll come up 661, rock on. It works good. So loving that. Let's go ahead and turn that off. And we're going to go ahead and do a little shortwave scan. I'm going to hook up a little antenna. It's a little 12-footer uh, from a PL380 Texan. Hooked up the inside blind on my windows. Here we go. Going to clip that there. A little extra reception downstairs here because we're in a sub-level basement. Okay, we're going to go to shortwave on the side and give you a little taste of that. See what we can hear tonight. Go to the bottom of the band since we're nighttime. We'll see what we can pick up at night. All right, turn this on. I was really impressed during the day. The gospel of the king, not the gospel of Christ. Message of the FC Barcelona details that the presentation act and the good second press conference of the new coach will take place this Wednesday from 6 p.m. in the 1899 auditorium and will be broadcast on television. The last Pero yo Station's coming nice and clear. station. Uh, this radio does a good job of trying to lock on that station, which is good. Mm -hmm. 
In effect, telepathy, just as we look at the star and see the clouds, they have all sorts of shapes. The clouds can have the shape of an elephant, just need the shape of a tractor or a tree for a child. Con el tema de esta eh, vacuna cubana. Yo, eh, bueno, personalmente. Still reject Christ the Messiah. That's why they're looking for Messiah. And that's why Satan is going to appear as an angel, as a Messiah, a false Messiah. And that. Let's see if we can find anything else, and then we'll go to the medium wave band. I was able to get 15 megahertz and 10 megahertz on here of the BWV during the day. And if the use of those common words were sinful, John would have not seen them in vision written on the Savior's robes. The name Diana means divine. The rich, just like he does with small, he's going to judge the great. People reason to use the word divine. <laughs> data electrical grid that could shut down food and water supply and the world health organization's official report that we're long overdue for a pandemic disease outbreak that could literally wipe out millions and would trigger forced isolation of infected districts covid 20. if you had a time machine boy oh boy i could go back know what I say. So we're just fast forward through it. Well, yeah. I mean, 2020 has been we a wash. Do, we should do an episode on that. Have we done time travel yet? Uh, I think we did. Well, we've done time travel, but not... We've done it like if you could go back and have like lunch with people. Or right. Like, and so we've done very specific circumstances. Mm, we should just do an overall time travel. Overall time travel. We'll throw out some stuff on our uh, social media and see what people give us. Okay. And we'll discuss. Just time travel in general. Just, yeah, in general. Shoot from the hip. We'll just say time travel, A or B. Say, does anybody have the equation on how to make time travel? See if it sticks. Yeah. Is that a thing? Maybe. Uh, who knows? Maybe somebody has it. Huh. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Except for next week? Maybe. Let's think we should do one where... Interesting. So let's just jump on the medium wave really fast and we'll do some final thoughts. As you know already what my final thoughts are, it's a pretty awesome radio for 10 bucks. You heard the short wave, it was amazing. <laughs> I love it. Even evening and daytime, not too bad. Sure it could go lower, but hey, it's working. So we're on the AM band right now. We'll go to the top. We'll just scroll through it really quickly. If we spot any long distance stations, I'll let you know. And then of course we'll do more in depth. It does this weird little tone at the beginning of the band. Vice President was in Iraqi reconstruction. Brother was part of the corporate, um, the corporation that won those contracts. So this is the kind of thing that you see repeated over and over. I think this is five sixty W I N D Chicago. Who, um, when Joe Biden became Vice President of the United States, are already in line with your values. Yeah. She's not a diva that's been. He has extended his scoreless streak to 17 and two-thirds innings. Okay. I think that's CFCO on 630, Chatham, Ontario. About 300 miles away. There's WSM, Nashville, Tennessee. It's 434 miles. I think the Seahawks would be the one organization that... 670, the score. Have them. Well, you do have a, a winning culture. Russell Wilson has not had a losing season. Let's see, this is picking up 680 or 690. This is great. Has to show up. We know that's one thing that he can do. Are having in 
We, we know Tommy. We know his reputation. That will happen sometimes where your station before will jump ahead. That's okay. If you if you tune back, you might pick up that uh, in-between station. So just so you know, always tune back if you think it missed the station. Comprehensible comments made uh, tonight. Let's... WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles and 700. And pound 700 on AT&T. Uh, let's see. Uh, Wayne, you... 312-981-7200 if you want to jump in. The other thing that's going... 720 WGN, Chicago. Brenneman used to broadcast Cubs games on this radio station. He's been in... Uh, 740 Zoomer Radio, CFZM out of Toronto, Ontario. 460 miles. plans with our Crystal Club program. For a customer service experience, you'll never forget. 750 Atlanta, Georgia, um, 650 miles, WSB. Three or blackdiamondtoday.com. That's 847-719. Or actually, that might be WJR, Detroit, Michigan. <laughs> 270 miles. Actually, that was 780 WBBM. Hold on. Moratorium ends this. That's what took over the, the Dem party today. Okay. Now, no, so it jumped. It passed up 760. This is 760 now. WJR Detroit, Michigan. People, they hate America. They hate ICE. They hate our borders. They hate Biden. I could make jokes about his cognitive failures, but there's no point in doing it. It only diminishes people to do that. If one more. 28 latest in. Biden is So you get the idea how that jumps back and forth. He's slipping. Where its government is uh, upon the request of the legislature of the governor if the legislature cannot be convened. A whole slew of hard throwing arms coming out of that bullpen. Hill takes the loss, he falls to one and one. Oh, here we go. 880 WCBS, New York, New York. 750 miles. You know, it was a fun story for a little while, but certainly seems like Miami's coming back to Earth. And <laughs> Old time radio on 900 CHML. Hamilton, Ontario. Who's at the band here? And for two hours, he beat her. I was going to call for a timeout. If you're looking for news when you want it, every hour, on a podcast or online at chok.com. Chok, I'll put the information there. Hey, and guess what? Referral fees are paid for leaving. Oh, I mean, I really need to grow up happy and help. Top of the band. Seventeen hundred KBGG. All right, there we go. We're done. <laughs> hey, I want to do a nice long band scan on medium wave. It's really good. It takes a little bit of patience going back and forth, but for ten bucks, buy this. <laughs> just buy it. It's so much fun. I love this radio. Like I said, just get a little sticker here, mark your favorite spots. It's the way to do it. So the RS RS six one six six one BT. Um, like I said, thirteen ninety nine. It's a deal. Nine ninety nine. It's a steal. <laughs> Run with it. Um, definitely gets a big thumbs up for me. If you like inexpensive shortwave radios reviewed on this channel, hit subscribe at the bell icon. Get notified of future videos and reviews and band scans, especially with this radio and any modifications I do to this radio. Think about modding it like I did with the 905. Awesome. And of course, comment below what you think about the new RS, RS661BT. Do you think it's an upgrade to the 905? Let me know. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.